Honorable colleagues, the House is called to order. I've just been informed that I have to give a speech before we swear in our colleagues. Good afternoon, honorable colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Femi Bajabiamila, the Speaker, House of Representatives, Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is my honor and pleasure to address you today as a duly elected Speaker of the Ninth House of Representatives. No greater honor can be done in man than to be elected by his peers as their leader and standard bearer. This is the honor you have given me today, and from the bottom of my heart, I say a big thank you. I thank Mr. President, my party leaders, my colleagues across party lines for the confidence reposed in me. I thank my mother, I thank my wife and family for putting up with my long hours and being absent over the months. But most importantly, I thank the Almighty Allah, for I see, I see his thumb and footprints all over from the moment this campaign started. Honorable colleagues, I understand that I hold this office in trust for you and for Nigerians. Conscious of this sacred trust, I hereby dedicate myself to the service of this honorable house and of the good citizens of this great country with the commitment that I shall at all times strive to defend the constitution of our republic. I equally commit myself to always observe the tenets of justice, equity and fairness in my dealings with my colleagues and to apply the ideals of transparency, probity, and accountability in my management of the affairs of this Honorable House. The contest for the speakership of this Ninth Assembly is now over, and it's time to move on. Our country is presently confronted with a myriad of problems, and it is our responsibility as members of this institution to set aside political, ideological, and other differences that may distract us from the assignment the Nigerian people have sent us here to perform. There's a lot more that unites us than divide us. There is much work to be done, and we must now pull together, roll up our sleeves, settle down, and attend to the people's business. Whatever political party each one of us, each one of us may belong, we must be conscious of the fact that Nigerians are truly desirous of good governance and are looking to us to be the agents that will, that will, through meaningful legislation, combat security, poverty, corruption, and other problems and contradictions that have held our country back and stunted our development. It is this message of unity and coming together that informed the theme of our campaign, nation building, a joint task. We have decided to carry this theme into the operations of the Ninth Assembly. As you can see, the lo logo which embodies all parties represented in the House will be displayed permanently behind the Speaker's chair for all to see, for all to see, and as a constant reminder of what this Assembly is all about. We must remain one nation bound in freedom, peace, and unity. Our vision is very simple, and that is to use the legislative platform and the instrumentality of the law to make Nigeria a better and more perfect union. My Deputy Honorable Ahmed Idris and I come with a cumulative 30-year legislative experience, which we intend to deploy in making our vision a reality. It was Winston Churchill that said, we make a living by what we get, by what we get but we make a life 
by what we give. I found those words very profound. And Honorable Uwase and I intend to have fulfillment through that, through what we will be given for the next four years. There comes a time in the life and history of a people when they interrogate the past and present, review past sacrifices, miscalculations and errors, and collectively decide to opt for change, peace, and progress. We are at such a time and such a moment in this country. Honorable colleagues of the Ninth Assembly, this is our time. This is our moment, and history beckons. The Ninth Assembly, under my leadership, is going to be a house of reforms, or if you like, a reform assembly. The reforms will be dished out piecemeal and at intervals so as not to shock the system. Moving forward, therefore, my dear colleagues, it will not be business as usual and we will be shaking the table just a little. We will be, we will be introducing various reforms that will reposition this institution but please rest assured that they will be for the greater good. On our shoulders lie the responsibility of working together as a house to safeguard the future of our great country. The house must be reformed before the country can be reformed. We simply cannot and must not fail. In this regard, and so as to quickly hit the ground running, I am announcing the appointment of Honorable Sanusi Rikiji, the former Speaker of Zamfara State, as my Chief of Staff. <laughs> Honorable Sanusi Rikiji comes with a wealth of legislative experience, and I believe his inclusion in this assembly will add immense value. Before I close, I want to acknowledge the role played by Speaker Dogara in getting our friend and colleague, Honorable John Deere, to step down from contesting as Deputy Speaker in the interest of unity of this House. You can all imagine how long it would have taken another four hours standing here or sitting here if we had had to go through a contest. So I thank him for that. Honorable colleagues, there's much work to be done, and in such little time. Let's roll our sleeves and get to work. Nigerians are waiting. God bless you all. So there you have it, the first, the first address of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Representative Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila. It's been a very long day. We've, uh, we started this coverage from the Senate. We've come down to the House. And it's at this point we'd like to thank you for staying with us through it all. It's been a long day, but it's it? been a very a fulfilling and rewarding one, a day when democracy was on display. At this point, I'd like to thank you for staying with us, Lan Ray Lassese, and it's at this point that we will be handing back to our studios for continuation of regular. Honourable colleagues.